everyone thank you for stopping by i would like to thank you all for your time and um let's get to it i am using a uh, white and aqua color for this set this is my recent set my nails have been already uh, prepped and disinfected and they're ready to work on so this is my mix this is a mix that i did a long time ago and this this has been one of my favorite i've been redoing this same mix for quite some time now um uh, so this one um it's mainly white um but it's not too white it's kind of milky so i like it and my customers like it too so right now i am applying it in all of the all of the nail and this will be uh, some small stilettos and this is another one of my mix uh, this is an aqua color it's not too dark it's just kind of uh, light it's not it, although it's very pigmented so um, uh, my natural now I already have a very thin coat of clear and I am also applying this one uh, in the entire now and um, for this design only the ring finger is a different color the rest of the nails will be white as you can see I'm not touching my cuticle area whatsoever so I'm just keeping it um, keeping it far from it so I won't have any lifting or premature lifting and in case you accidentally touch it it's better off if you, if you remove the the acrylic from there because it can be already contaminated with with the oil natural oil that we have on our skin just a you know a little advice and then um in the middle finger i am again using the same white mix and um i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the video right now where i have them all done and you can see only the ring finger has a different color on it and um, again, I, I spray with disinfecting uh, spray just, you know, again, to be on the safe side. So um, now I'm applying finished gel. I always do that. Um, I like it. And I feel that it, I, I work better that way. Um, I like putting finished gel right after I finish the design and before I apply anything on top. If, it can even be a three a three D or you know whatever is it that I'm applying even rhinestones I'm putting it first or finish job and then just like cure it and then I'm gonna go ahead with this decoration I'm gonna decorate the the ring finger first I am using building gel like always and that's just so they can stick better and they lost they long I'm sorry they long last year like and now I am using um, some studs. I am using half pearls and the, the small beads. And I just place them randomly. Uh, but I, I try to, both ring fingers, I try to make them the same. But on, on right here, I'm just putting the studs, you know, the half pearl. And the pearl is a 6mm, I believe. And um, those I bought them, and the studs I bought them at a local store, but the pearls I bought them off eBay. And I really like how, how it looked. And then for that one, it's just going to stay like that. For the other fingers, um, I am going just to use same, the same decoration that I use on the ring finger, but I'm going to place them in like in different shapes for instance in the middle finger i use the small the small studs and then on the other fingers i use the square the aqua square and the those uh, round studs so i kind of placed them where i kind of thought that they looked pretty and i left the middle finger and the ring finger different from the others just so i can have like a different look I liked it a lot. Let me know what you guys think. And um, I cure this. So I, I cure it for about um, a minute or so. Depends on the watts on your light. And um, I go and I apply finished gel. You can apply it uh, around 
the decoration or on top of, of this one because these are studs so nothing happens but I don't recommend it um, on the crystals or Swarovskis I don't recommend it at all so this is the finished result I hope you like it let me know what you guys think and again thank you so much for for sticking along with me and uh, for helping me and again thank you so much for your time